Okay, so what we're showing here is a test for a 90 degree turn. This happens to be our ESD gray belting. Customer is moving a product that's, uh, they don't want anti static, so there's no dust or dust generation. So they're using a ESD system. So I've got this sitting on a table. This thing that can be run, right? Sitting on a table. And we're going to make two 90 degree turns. And what I want to show you on this is that when you're, if you've got your product, uh, they call this slugged, where all the product is sitting together, this might come from accumulating and then being released. And then you're going to come down to a 90 degree turn. This would usually present a problem. So what you've got to do is run each conveyor a little faster so that it will peel away that box to the next box. So I've got the first conveyor going at 20 feet per minute feeding into a 40 feet per minute, and then finally into a 60 feet per minute. Now you may be able to get less, uh, you know, radical than that uh, speed change, but uh, I want to show the demonstration. So we're going to power this on, and we'll show how it runs. Okay, so we're coming up to the turn. Check it out over here. That's funny. Just got to slide as it turns, slide as it turns. This is getting to the next one, to the next one. So basically, uh, this can be done with a lot of different products, round, square. It's a very simple way to make a 90 degree turn without having uh, a curve system. It's much more reconfigurable than uh, a curve system. Because you can make this go left or right, and of course, you can make, make more runs you know, after you make the turn. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.